Yes, yeah, Steve. Ernie Myers knows a thing or two about hardware and about Wolfpack basketball. He was a freshman on that legendary 83 team, and he serves as a commentator for Pack women's basketball now. Earlier today, we caught up with Ernie about what it's been like living through another dream Wolfpack run all these years later. I've been there and done that, and, um, you know, the energy of it is just infectious, and I love it, and it makes you feel young. With the Wolfpack in the Final Four for the first time in more than four decades, it's easy to draw comparisons to the magic of 1983. We were the cardiac pack. These guys are, you know, why not us? They're writing their own story, and it's, uh, it's a great to watch. Ernie Myers played on that legendary title-winning team and says the biggest similarity between 1983 and 2024 is the impact they've had on the university and the city. With the city of Raleigh on the map nationally and this great university and uh, on the map nationally and I know students are walking around here with chests out. But as he walked off a team charter early this morning to a hero's welcome as the men and women's teams celebrated with thousands of students felt like 83 all over again. The excitement and the fans coming up to us and you know and I'm like this is not about me. This is about the women. This is about the men's team. I'm just, I'm just a broadcaster. Did you see the time? As Ernie reflects on what that magical run meant to the school and city 41 years ago, he also shared this message to the next generation of Wolfpack legends, authoring this new chapter. Yeah, don't stop and don't give up. Like Coach V says, you know, don't stop. Keep going, you know, and and get the most out of it. Because once it's, once it's over here, it's over. Now, according to Ernie, the 1983 team has an active group chat. They will be showing up in force in Phoenix this weekend, much like members of the 1974 national championship winning basketball team supported his squad at the Final Four in Albuquerque in 1983. Now, Ernie, of course, will be on the call for the women's Final Four in Cleveland, but he said if they manage to pull that upset, he'll do whatever it takes to get over to Phoenix to the men, if they beat Purdue, that is.